Morning, guys. Yeah, so here at Center Point Church, they've spent more than twelve thousand dollars just to to buy and provide kerosene heaters for people in the community um, as they are spending lots of cold nights in their homes. So we are here actually with Pastor Jacob Holmes. Um, So right now we are here in one of the many rooms that you guys have stocked with supplies. Can you lead me around um, kind of what you have? Yeah, absolutely. This uh, thanks to some awesome, generous people. Uh, the last couple of days, we're fully stocked now. We had dwindled down quite a bit, um, but basically, we've organized this um, across this room, starting with baby formula and baby food. This has been something that's been very, very important. Um, and then you go around here to uh, just a lot of non-perishable things that that kids would like. You have a lot of snack foods, a lot of things that are easy to prepare. How hard um, was this community hit? I mean, you guys are really close to the damage. Yeah, line. You we're, were in the path of the storm. Yeah, yeah. We're about a fourth mile from some of the worst damage as far as our uh, the businesses um, in our community go. The, if you look online, the 31, what we call the 31 bypass here in town was hit uh, very hard. And um, our church is on this side of town. Um, um, really has been able to provide a lot of help to community to the community on on this side of town um, and so people have been coming here um, for all of these supplies and um, and we've been able to go to them as well but um, this wall was completely full you could see family meal boxes mm-hmm. uh, the East Kentucky Dream Center had brought us these family meal boxes and we were fi- basically full all the way out to here and all the way to the top with those and those are um, pretty much all gone. Church here in town, near church, provided some more of them. So we've got a few left. Okay. Um, and then um, it, it, it basically, this is kind of a miscellaneous yeah. area. And then we have canned goods and canned goods are, um, are always really, really um, popular. Uh, can openers mm-hmm. is a need for, well, for, for canned yeah. goods. So we've been having a lot of requests for can openers. This is my wife, Kristen. Yeah, Kristen Holmes, I'm going to have you tell us exactly what you need since you guys are getting low on a food supply right now. Excellent. Yeah, we can use any non-perishable items right now. Bottled water, um, like he said, baby food is uh, something that people are really needing right now. Formula. Um, It would be amazing if we could get some fresh fruit. That's something we haven't had a lot of. Um, Bread, we need a lot more bread. Peanut butter, breakfast items, milk that you don't have to refrigerate, powdered milk, any kind of milk that you don't have to put in the refrigerator is really nice to have right now so kids can eat cereal for breakfast in the morning. So um, canned goods, just anything non-perishable would be excellent. That's that's the first time that I've heard people say they need fruit, Um, but they are so close to people's homes who were damaged, and they're actually being told to stay in those homes right now so they can't leave, that they are able to take supplies directly to them so they would be able to actually, if they had fruit come in or something like that that needed, that would go bad, they could take it immediately out to the people who need it the most. But we'll be here hopping around um, the church this morning and learning more about the operations that are going on down here in Bowling Green.